Hi, there are various terminologies that are used when grouping numeric data and for you to understand how to group numeric data it is essential that you come to terms with the most important of these terminologies. Now a lot of students and researchers get confused on hearing these terminologies hence this video. This data that we see here is the age data from women attending a counseling clinic in Umohia in Abia state Nigeria. I will use this data to explain some of these terminologies. The first terminology we'll be explaining is called groups and so here you can see we have have the first group we have another group and we have three groups these groups can also be called classes so we have three groups or three classes and some software actually call it bin so in excel for example you have it as bins okay that's fair enough the next is called the class limit and when we talk about class limit we have what is called the lower class limit or the upper class limit all right the lower class limit is the smallest value that can go into a class and so looking at this first class the lower class limit is 20 all right and then the upper class limit is 29 that's simple enough the next thing we'll be talking about is the class interval and when you talk about class interval the class interval is the difference between the lower class limit and the upper class limit so the class interval for the 42 49 group is just 49 minus 40 and you have 9 so 9 is the class interval all right the next thing we'll be talking about is called cut points right so for cut points you have lower cut points and upper cut points the lower cut point is actually the smallest value that can go into a particular class that's similar to the lower class limit right however the upper cut point is actually the lowest value that can go into the next class okay i'm going to repeat this again so let's look at these classes properly we have class one class two and class three so the lower cut point for class one is the lowest value that can go into class one which is 20 all right but the upper cut point for class one is the lowest value that can go into class two all right that's the upper cut point for class one and guess what is the same lower cut point for class two all right and so let's look at class two the upper cut point for class two is 40 and is the lower cut point for class three as a rule to remember when you're talking about cut points just limit it to this side of the group which is the left vertical axis okay the next terminology we'll be talking about is the class width and for the class width is the difference between the lower cut point and the upper cut point so the upper cut point for a particular class and the lower cut point for that class so if we're looking at class 20 to 29 the class width is going to be 30 minus 20 okay so in relating this to the class interval our class interval is 9 while our class width is 10 the next terminology we'll be talking about is called the class boundaries for the class boundaries we have the lower class boundary and the upper class boundary okay i'll be using a simple analogy to explain the class boundaries imagine this is the class 20 to 29 and this is the class 30 to 39 you can see that there's a space between these classes so what if somebody falls within the space of 29 to 30 what happens where do we put that person do we put that person in the 20 to 29 group or the 30 to 39 group so this space that is in between these two groups is a potential for disaster it can cause third world war all right so we need to separate this space and that's the boundary so this is the boundary for the 20 to 29 class and the boundary for a 30 to 39 class all right so on this side is the upper class boundary for the 20 to 29 class and on this other side is the lower class boundary for the 30 to 39 class so the simplest way to do this is just to add both numbers together 29 plus 30 and we'll have 29.5 so that point is the 29.5 point and that's the class boundary all right so the final terminology we are going to talk about is called the class mark or the midpoint so and as the name implies is the midpoint between the two limits is the midpoint of a group or the average of the limit so all we do is to add the two limits together and divide by 2 so for here is 20 plus 29 divided by 2 and we have 24.5 that's the class mark same thing here and same thing here okay once you get the first one you can just add the class widths and you get the other one and that's that for class mark in summary we talked about the group we talked about class limits we talked about class intervals we talked about cut points where we said we had upper and lower cut points we talked about the class width, the class boundaries, as well as the class midpoints. Alrighty, this is an exercise for you to see how well you understood the contents of this video. Please put your answers in the comment box below. Thank you for watching. In our next video, we're going to talk about how to construct a grouped frequency distribution. If you have gained value in this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video, but until then, peace.